Hi, my name is Emily and welcome to Sweet Creek Pants. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this super fun crochet mini stocking. So this is the mini granny stitch stocking. Um, it's a really fun and relaxing stitch pattern. Um, I It's just addicting, honestly, so I love making this. So this is the mini. Let me hold it by the hanger. There you go. That's the mini. And then this is also the mini in just a different color. So you can see there's the two compared. And then this is the um, large stocking size. So this is what I would consider um, just the standard stocking size. And then it also has this little cute bow in the front. There you go. Um, for um, some added feature. And so this is this large stocking is available on my Etsy site and on my website. So you can go purchase the ad-free PDF for it. And then these mini stockings, I'll show you how to make in this tutorial. And so let's get started making these mini granny stockings. So the supplies that you'll need today um, is a 5 millimeter crochet hook, and this is a Clover brand hook. I absolutely love Clover. And I'll put um, links to everything that I mentioned in the materials down in the des description box below. And so you can go check that out if you're looking for um, anything that I'm talking about. Then I, you'll need a uh, darning needle, some scissors, and you'll need um, some faux fur yarn for the top of your stocking. So this is number six super bulky weight yarn. This is um, Lion Brand Go For Faux in the color Husky. Now, one thing you'll notice is that this is not Lion Brand Go For Faux Thick and Quick. This is just Lion Brand Go For Faux. And Thick and Quick is actually number seven jumbo weight yarn, um, but this is a number six weight yarn. So you're gonna want number six, um, super bulky weight yarn. I'm not sure this will be enough, but we'll see. You don't need much of it, so we'll see. It might be enough. Then you'll need um, Red Heart Super Saver yarn or any uh, number four worsted weight yarn. I'm using the color Light Sage. Um, it's a really pretty green color for Christmas. Um, so to begin now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your strand of yarn and you're gonna pull from the center. So I'm going to find my there we go, my center pull. And to begin, you're going to begin by making a magic circle. So you're going to make a magic circle and then you're going to chain two and double crochet 15 into that magic circle. So to make a magic circle, we're going to wrap the yarn around going to the front. Now you're going to wrap the yarn around going to the back. So like a little X. There you go, you guys can see that hopefully. Then you're going to flip it to the back other side. You're going to go under this first loop and over and grab the last loop. Then you're going to bring it forward, pinch and hold, and then you're going to chain two now. So one and two, and you're going to double crochet 15 into this magic circle. So to make a double crochet, you just yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. So you're just going to continue that. Yarn over, insert, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to do these next 15 double crochets off camera, and I'll meet you back once I am done with 15 stitches. All right, so now that you have finished um, round number one, so you have 15 double crochets in, and then I just cinched, um, I pulled on this open strand to cinch up the center. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. So right here's my first double crochet. You're gonna slip, make a slip stitch into that. And then you're gonna chain two. And for round number two, you're going to double crochet, um, I call it double crochet cluster, but you're going to do three double, uh, three double crochets into each of the third, so into every third stitch around. So let me show you what I mean. So, okay, so here's our 15 stitches, and I just chain two. So now what I'm going to do is between the, okay, so I alternate rounds doing this. So between the double crochet and the chain right here, I'm going to make a cluster. But then on the next round, I'm going to go to here and then uh, do a cluster over here. 
So I like to alternate so that it kind of keeps a straight line going up the back. So that's what I do. And I'll explain that a little more later when it makes more sense. So to begin with, you're going to yarn over, insert into that space between the double crochet and the chain. And you're going to double crochet three into that space. One, two, and three. So three separate double crochets into that space right there. Now, you're going to um, skip three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. Let me bring it really close. So here's one, two, and three, and then I'm gonna go between the third stitch right here. So right, oh, there you go, right here. One, two, and three. So now I'm going to um, double crochet three into here, and you're just gonna repeat that around. So you're going to um, go in between the th um, third and fourth stitch is where I consider it, but I could be wrong when I say that. So you can see one, two, and three, then you go between the third and fourth double crochet, and then you're just gonna make three double crochets there. So you're, you should have five clusters, I call them clusters, um, when you're done with this round. So you're going to one, two, three, and there we go. So you're now just gonna repeat this in each stitch around, and I will meet you back once you are done with round number two. Okay, so as you can see, here now we have three double crochets left. Now you're not gonna go into those because you just went into this uh, first between the chain and double crochet here. So you should have five, one, two, three, four, and five. And now you're gonna slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. And there you go. Now, okay, when I call this the granny stitch, however, I do not do chains between the, um, the granny stitch, so the three, double crochets, I do not do chains between them because I felt like when I did that, there's too many gaps um, and too many holes. But if you want to, you can, you're, you could sure do that. Um, yeah, so that's totally an option. I don't prefer that, but you can do that. I feel like it looks a little neater, not with the chains. Okay, so now for round number three, what you're gonna do is you're going to chain two and you're going to double crochet um, cluster or that same three double crochets into the first space. So I'm going to go into this first space here. So three double crochets here. Okay, now I'm going to do six clusters in or six double crochets into this space right here. So um, basically we're increasing. So you're going to do six double crochets into this one space. And it's going to be a little bit on the tight side, but you're just going to have to kind of move around the stitches. And so one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do one more stitch, six stitches. Now you're going to um, skip, or you, now you're going to work into the next space. You're going to do three double crochets into the next space. So just a regular double crochet cluster, as I like to call it. And then you're going to do a double crochet cluster increase in the next stitch. So you're just repeating that um, around. So six double crochets into this space now. So basically every other one gets an increase. So now we have four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you can see we have one space left. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and now you're just going to do one regular double crochet cluster into the last, um, into the last space. Like so. So, now you should have technically seven clusters. And why you should have seven clusters is you're going to count these six, uh, so where you did six double crochets into one, as two separate clusters. So basically that was our goal, to make two separate clusters. So you should have one, then two, and three, so two different ones, four, five, and six, and then seven. So now I'm going to slip stitch, oops. I'm going to grab my loop and slip stitch to join. Now you could for sure work in the round if you wanted to, 
but I just did the slip stitch to join just in case you guys wanted to um, change the colors because um, in general with the granny stitch most people change the colors every row and so that's just why I gave you the option of doing the rounds or the um, the slip stitch to join. Okay, so now for, we just finished round three. So now for rounds four through eight, you're going to um, chain two, double crochet cluster, or three double crochets into each space around, and then you're going to slip stitch to join. So I'm going to, I just last time, I did not work between the chain and the double crochet. So now this time I'm going to work between the chain and the double crochet, and then I'm going to work around and then um, so for rounds four through eight, I'll um, let you go and I will meet you back at the end of round eight. Now one thing I want to note here is, so we told you that we are just doing an increase. So you're going to do three double crochets into the first space, three double crochets into the next space. And then when you get to this six double crochets right here, you're going to work between them. So you're going to go one, two, three, and between the third one right here, you're going to uh, do three double crochets, and then over here, you'll do three double crochets. So basically, we just did an increase. Um, that was what that six double crochets were. So I'm doing three double crochets into there, and now I'm just going to com um, continue doing that in each stitch around, and you'll do that for uh, rounds four through eight, as I already mentioned, and so I'll meet you at the end of round number eight. All right, so as you can see, this is what our little stocking is looking like, and now we're gonna begin the heel. So to begin the heel, you're going to just chain two, and you're going to begin um, your heel by um, double crocheting um, double crochet clustering in the first four spaces. So just doing your regular old double crochet cluster into the first four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. So as you can see, we're just going to do four um, double crochet clusters into the four spaces. So there's one. I'm just going to do this real quick on camera because it's not worth stopping the film. Okay, two, three, and a four. Oops. There we go. Two, there we go. Okay, so now we have done four, one, two, three, and four um, stitches across. And as you can see, that is just about half of the stacking. A tiny bit more actually than half the stacking. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to chain two and turn your work and you're going to um, double crochet in the first stitch. So now you're gonna, for these heel rows, you're going to do double crochets and clusters and I'll make sure to specify where you do both. So. To begin with, you're going to double crochet into the very first double crochet right here. Right here. Just make a double crochet. And now you're going to double crochet cluster in the next one, two, um, in the next three spaces. So right here is the first space. We're just going to make a cluster into there. And two. and three stitches, there we go. And then I'm just gonna do one more cluster into the last space. And then I'm gonna show you what to do next. So now that you have your three double crochet clusters, you're going to, you'll see, you'll have one, um, one, uh, uh, sorry, I'm, my words are losing me. You'll have one cluster right here, but you don't have a space. So what you're gonna do is you're going to double crochet in the last stitch. So there's one, two, and three. You're gonna go into the third stitch, so the very last stitch, and you're just gonna make a double crochet just to make the edges nice and even. So as you can see, this is what our little heel is looking like so far. So now you're going to chain two and turn your work. And for row number 11, you're going to double crochet in the first stitch right here. And then you are going to um, double crochet in the next two um, 
spaces. So you can see we don't want to go into here, otherwise that would be basically doing an increase. So we're going to go into here, right here. So the kind of the next space right here. So you're going to double crochet um, cluster into that. So three double crochets into there. And now you're going to do three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. And then you're going to double crochet into the very last stitch. So you can see here was our double crochet, just kind of the lone double crochet. So you're just going to double crochet into that last stitch. And as you can see, we're kind of decreasing stitches. So we start with four and now we're down to two clusters. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> so you now have two clusters across and you're on row 11 and now you're going to begin the increases, increase rows. So you're going to do two rows of increases for the heel. So to begin, chain two, turn your work. Now you're going to double crochet cluster into the very first double crochet. Now you could do it into this first space, that would be fine. But when you do that onto the other side, then it just makes it look a little less clean because then you don't work into the last double crochet. So you kind of have like a weird uh, little area that's not worked into. And so I just like to work into the very first stitch. So you're going to do three double crochets into the very first stitch. One, two, and three. And then you're going to, um, you're going to double crochet in the, uh, do double crochet clusters in the next space. So right here. And then you're going to double crochet cluster into the last double crochet right here. Right there. So you're going to make a cluster into there. So you will now have three clusters at the end of row number um, 12. So there you go, you can see one, two, and three. And now what you're gonna do for row 13 is chain two once again, turn your work, and you're getting a double crochet cluster in the first stitch. So you're gonna basically do exactly what we just did for row number 12, but just for row number 13. So you're gonna double crochet cluster in the first stitch, then you're going to double crochet in the cluster in the next two spaces, and then you're gonna double crochet cluster in the very last space. So I'm just gonna real quick do this on camera. And then I will um, show you how to make this heel actually look like a heel. So you're, there you go. So you can see we have three right now. Now you're getting double crochet uh, cluster into the very last stitch to make an increase. Okay, so now as you can see, this is what it looks like and if I turn, you can see this is what it's looking like. So we have this open here, and then we have this kind of weird angular thing. <laughs> so now what you're gonna do is you're going to um, chain one, and you're going to um, take the heel, and you're going to flip the top part back. So the two rows of increase, you're gonna flip backward. So. Okay, let me make sure this is clear. So you can see here, if I lay it like this, this is the inside, right, where you can put something in there, and you're gonna take this right here and flip it back. So outside, you're not going inside, that would be wrong. You're going outside like this. So on the inside, you won't see it, it looks just the same, just a little few rows less. And then on the outside, this is what it'll look like it'll have the two rows flipped down. So hopefully that is making sense. So now we chained one and then you're gonna flip that down and then you're gonna turn. So now you're gonna be working from the inside. So flip down, turn. So you're working from the inside and then you're gonna just work up this seam right here. So now you're going to um, uh, single crochet four up this side. So you're gonna work into both um, edges or both stitches like so. There we go. So now we have four single crochets going up. You're going to grab your scissors and cut your yarn. Oops. And you're going 
just tie off. Whoa, there we go. Okay, so now you can flip it back. You see, and there, you can see that's what it's look, going to look like. But you're going to leave it how it was. So you just single crochet up this side, and now you're going to do the same thing going down this side. So we went up this side, and now we're going to start at the very top, and then we're going to work down. So four single crochets down this side. So you're going to, you still have it folded and you're going to work in, or insert your hook into the front and back loop. Oop. It's a bit of a challenge, especially doing this on camera. So front and back loop, or front and back panel, back layers, and you're going to um, pull your yarn through, chain one, and you're going to single crochet four down this edge. So, um, I am on the last stitch, there we go, and then I'm just going to single crochet there, like so. So we did four single crochets. Now, if you were to do like five single crochets, that's fine too. You just want it to look even. So as long as it looks even, if you do one or two more, that's totally fine. Okay, so now you're going to chain two, and you're going to flip, so this back part you're going to flip up now like this <clears throat> excuse me and then you're going to push it together so now you can see like on this little guy that we have the heel right here oh there you go right here so you can see now we've created the heel i'm hoping this is making sense it's a little bit complicated but super easy once you get the hang of it so let me put the tails in there okay so we we were working like this and we just chained two and now we're going to f uh, turn your work and now you're going to start working over the heel so you're going to begin by um making a a cluster in the so this is now row 14. so you're going to double crochet cluster into the first space so right here so you're not going to work into any of that you're just going to work into the first uh, space and then you're going to double crochet so basically you're going to double crochet cluster in the, um, uh, three in the next three spaces across the top of the heel so as you can see that's exactly what I'm doing so I've just worked three space uh, three clusters one two and three one two and three now, what you're going to do is you're going to come into this kind of weird spot where we we um, connected the heel. And so you kind of have this kind of weird area. What you're going to do is you're going to do a, th a double crochet three together over this area just to make it look nice and clean and neat. So you can see here on the red one that you can't even see that that's not a normal cluster stitch. So right there. And I, it's probably cluster is probably not the right term. That's just where I've been calling it so forgive me if um, that's not the right term so you can see right here is the three double crochet de decrease so what you're going to do is you're going to um, insert your hook into the kind of the first area and you're just going to kind of have to experiment with it yourself too so I can't because yours will look probably a little different okay so now I went to the first stitch did a half double crochet or a part, part, part of a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert into the first uh, stitch or area, yarn over, pull through, yarn pull through two. Now you have two loops left, you're not gonna finish that double crochet. Instead you're going to insert into the next space and do the same thing. And then I like to insert into this right here where we had worked, you can see, um, a double crochet cluster into. And I just like to work into there. And now you can see we have four loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. So that just makes it nice and even. Okay, now you're going to do, um, you're going to double crochet cluster in the next three spaces across the bottom of your stocking. So not across the heel. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three stitches. Okay, so you can see here we're working into the last 
a granny space. So we have one, two, and three. And now you're going to do another double crochet three together. So you're going to insert into there, or yarn over, insert, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two. Then I'm just going to kind of find another spot. You're kind of just going to have to figure out where you think it looks best located. There we go. And then yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. And then you're just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet of this round. And you're going to be done with round number 14. Now, for rounds number 15 through 23, you're going to chain two, double crochet cluster in each stitch, or in each space, excuse me, across, and then you're going to slip stitch to join. So you should have eight clusters at this point. Um, I, okay, let me work round 15 with you, just so that you guys can see what I'm talking about, and then I'll let you go through 16 through 23. So you're going to chain two, you're going to double crochet um, cluster into the first space, one, two, and three. And then you're just going to do that in each space across. So let me show you though, once you get to the double crochet three together of the previous row, let me show you what you do for that. So I'm almost there. And, okay, so you can see here is the last double crochet cluster, and then here is the one stitch, and then here's the double crochet three together, and then here's the next space. So we're gonna go into the space here, and then you're going to go into the space here right after the cluster. So you're basically pretending that the double crochet three together is like a cluster. So you should end up with eight uh, clusters at the end of this round, and you should end it up with that for round 14 too if you count the double crochet three together. <clears throat> so, as you can see, we're coming to the other side. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to go into this space here. And then because I worked between the chain and the double crochet of the last round, I'm not going to go into the other side. So just as long as you have eight clusters, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, you're good. So now for rows 16, or rounds 16 through 23, just chain two, double crochet cluster in each space across, and then you're going to slip stitch to join. So that is um, super easy, and I will let you finish um, this stocking, and I'll meet you back at the end of round 23. All right, so as you can see, I have finished this little body of the stocking. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the faux fur. So I call this section the cuff in my pattern. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your little slip stitch that you just made, and you're going to start the slip stitch. So you're gonna insert your hook into the first double crochet. Now you're gonna cut your yarn, and then you're gonna grab your faux fur yarn right here. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to grab this yarn and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through and pull through, just like you normally would with any um, slip stitch. So now basically you have, um, you, now you have your faux fur on, and so now you're gonna do um, you're gonna do three rows of um, your cuff, so faux fur yarn. So to begin, you're gonna chain two, and you're going to double crochet uh, cluster in each stitch around. So seriously, for rows or for rounds 24 through 26, you're just going to double crochet cluster in each stitch around. It's that simple. Now. One thing with faux fur yarn, normally it's a little bit harder to work with faux fur yarn, where with this pattern, it's a lot easier to work with faux fur yarn because of the fact that you're only working into the spaces. So when you come back on your next row, you're just working into the space. You don't have to find each um, stitch along, which makes it so much easier, and it makes it, um, yeah, just quicker and easier. Okay, so I'm going to, let you guys finish rounds 24 through 26, and I'll meet you back once you're done with round 26, and I'll show you what to do next. Okie dokie, so as you can see, we have finished the cuff, so we did three rows of faux fur. I'm going to just snip my yarn 
and just tie off. And so now you have completed your stocking. Now this is a totally optional part, but if you want to, so then I like to flip down my faux fur part like this. And there you have it, the cutest little mini stocking ever. Now, remember, if you want to get the larger stocking size, the standard, I would say, um, stocking size, this is the standard size, looks like. It's really beautiful. Um, you can check out the link in the description box down below, and you can get the link to um, be able to purchase that. Yeah. Okay, so now if you want to, you can put a hanger on the stocking. Now this is totally optional, obviously, but I'm just gonna show you how to make it real quick in case you guys want to do that. So here's our little stocking. We're gonna put that to the side and we're just gonna make basically like a long strip of the, um, the just a, like a granny stitch. Uh, cluster. So you're going to begin by chaining 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, now to begin, you're going to double crochet in the third chain from hook. So this is the loop. You're going to skip one, two, and then go into the third chain. You're going to make a double crochet. Then you're going to skip two chains, and in the third chain from hook, you're going to make a double crochet cluster. So three double crochets into the third chain from hook. Now, you're going to skip three chains, and in the fourth chain from hook, from your hook, you're going to do a cluster. And you're just gonna repeat that in each, um, in the fourth chain of each, um, uh, in the fourth chain um, across. So you're just going to skip three chains in the fourth chain, double crochet three. And I will meet you back once you have reached the other side and you have three chains left. Okay, so as you can see, this is what it should look like. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to, you, you see you have three chains left. You're just going to double crochet in the third chain from your hook currently. And that is the end. So now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, grab your scissors, give yourself a nice long tail to um, uh, finish this part. Now, you're going to grab your darning needle. Sorry, I bumped the camera stand. Okay, you're going to grab the, take the long strand of yarn. And what you're going to do is you're going to make like a little loop. So you're going to fold this in half and you can see there is our little loop. You're going to just sew it on the bottom. So I'm just going to do like two or three stitches or two or three whip stitches back and forth. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put it at the side, the outer edge of your stocking. So right here, I like to pinch it with my thumb and my finger and then open it up and then just place it here and then just whip stitch it on. Um, so going into the stitches around and then into the hanger stitches. So go into this and then the hanger. And you're just gonna continue that around the edge of your hanger. And then once you feel like it's secure enough, you can just, I like to just tie a knot with this other strand of yarn that we have here. And then you can call your stocking done. So I'm on my last stitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, so you can see here, if I just put these loops or strands of yarn in, there we go. So you can see there is your little hanger. Now that is obviously totally optional, but I think it adds a kind of a cute little Christmassy effect. And so there is your little mini stocking. Thank you so much for making this super fun crochet granny stocking with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget that you can get grab the ad-free PDF for the large and the small stockings. And the link is in the description box down below. And don't forget to check out this next video as I think you'll like it.